Welcome to Inside Science TV. What happened to Luke Skywalker after his battle with his father is what inspired Benjamin T to become an engineer. That was really amazing because they have created a prosthetic device that's as good as, a, as your own. Now, he's part of the Stanford team led by chemical engineer Shannon Bao that's creating the first of its kind electrical skin. Our material is special in the sense that it combines the self-healing property and the electrical conductive property, and it can also sense touch or sense uh, a handshake or pressure. It starts with this. What we did was we used materials like plastic that are very flexible, that can conform onto surfaces, for example, like around your finger. By combining plastics and metal particles, they designed a skin-like touch sensor. The plastic contains chains of molecules that can easily rearrange themselves. The metal particles conduct electricity to sense changes such as tears. Together, they can restore the skin to almost its original condition in less than 30 minutes. It will connect with the human nervous system to tell the brain what's really happening. It's exactly what Lance Corporal Bill Perkins is waiting for. It's been three years since he lost his leg after an IED attack in Afghanistan. Hopefully someday they can just have something that looks like a leg, you know, <laughs> feels like a leg. With this, his dream may become a reality. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters, including the Materials Research Society Foundation.